My name is Migmar Tsri. Yeah? I was born in a very small village in Tibet. It's uh, like uh, near the capital of Lhasa. Yeah? Tibet, capital of Tibet. Is, um, village name is Thoga. So when I was 13, then I started to the learn painting to um, Lhasa. So um, all paintings I learned in Lhasa, maybe seven years. So that time we are, sometimes we going to the monastery. Uh, rip, rip, how to say it? Revelation or? Yeah, so window time is in the uh, Tanga painting in the home. So then uh, in 87 I escaped to India, to Dharamsala, then joined to library school, five years course again. Then <coughs> now I uh, finished the 92. So my school then I from 92 to still I'm painting, yeah. So many different, uh, how to say, uh, country I've been uh, exhibition or some like uh, doing also calligraphy like that. So so still I'm also doing an in institute of Tibet Tanga arts teachers. Institute of Tibetan Tanga art is the school of uh, but in traditional art, but a little different, yeah. So, I mean, in Dharamsala, they have uh, many schools like this, maybe more five or six like this school, but it's a little different, our school is. Because our school aim is not for making uh, money or like that, so we aim is real professional artists, traditional artists coming, we hope. So that's why it's, we take a long, long term uh, course maybe 6 years yeah so we aim is coming is good and real Tibetan traditional artists and uh, how to say good tanga artists we hope so coming more many so that's why it's, uh, also i think my teachers aim is also like that so otherwise uh, many Schools they are maybe teaching short term, then they uh, they take order money and they make money. Yeah, M is more money, but uh, our school is little different. The Chitaro, the Mazu Bebek is very like the Kuzeki and sometimes in New York art like Mazuki Mangwit Mansio, the Bebeki, Carson, Archibald Mayimba, Giroa Chugi, Chada Joyi Jogi, Shumutini, Hurry Life or Kimze, Hada Joyi in the Roa. This is the that's also the one is done in color. Some of them, some of them that are doing it too, you know, that delay, that delay, so so that they are doing it, but 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 they Cassine, Bernal Lola, Rishuman, which is Jamie Mavs, sorry. That Jagana lead the engine of the lead to Rishuman, which is Tauja, Susan, or Toya Dundala, Kanyaji Tedera. That the Peru de la Dandet is the notification of Shiva. This is the Nigi, Migi Toko, and the Karasan was in it. Chigi Sosagi, Toya, to go to Mayimbaro, that Chigi. Kalore, that Mesitina, Toya to go to Mayimba. Dillet Haga Jigi, the Susagi. Rishunda Laura, Miri Digitola, Daisy, Chigi, Pento to her Samajira, Tim Migit Sol Shani, Chigi Tande to the Sosuda in the Tesnam Manga, you do deep Bejutani, Tanga Puita would turn to her, the Chichiruda in Elebe, the Sosu Karashim, the Sam Namda Lobni, Mamba Ladig Jundo to her, dig Migit of Jita, Migit of Laura, the Yigi Ravada with it, that's all of it. And it was a tat in the doctor in Jerry. What is Tanka? Tanka is uh, it's a Tibetan tradition painting, very unique, like uh, I guess only Tibetan have. And it's uh, mainly purpose of religion, especially for the practitioners like the highest lamas or the, the great practitioners. And the Tanka is quite related with the people's life. It has all the meanings uh, 
like you are uh, facing daily life like difficulties or sickness or from born to from from birth to from until your death you know it was all related in tanka so it's a it's a long how to say if i explain it it might take a long long time so so we have suppose like when people passed away we need, you need tanka when somebody born you need tanka if you have some obstacle you need tanka of course different deities it says you have to you know, go through astrology in that case so let me tell you the, the real tanka and the fake tanka let me say fake tanka but the real tanka should be fo- you should follow the properly the text whatever whatever you practice whichever your lama is you have to follow the certain text through the text you have to draw whatever the text says you cannot draw like like your own so like suppose in the market they have uh, no meaning it's just a decoration piece so whenever you want tanka if, if it's very serious you want tanka if you want it just for the decoration that's okay you can buy from any any shop you no know? but if you buy it very really seriously then please go to a, like a genuine tanka painter if it's possible go to some masters and uh, go to lamas and discuss and then you decide what what tanka you want okay this is the tanka uh, as as far as uh, my experience is because i've been painting almost like uh, 30 years since my childhood so that is tanka now we have uh, i actually this school run by my master master sangi ishi and when he passed away he passed on to me and mikmar so uh, currently we are we are running this school for the tibetans and for the uh, himalaya region people is is free of cost or or free free teaching like you can say it. so the course uh, is around uh, to be a professional you have to finish the 6 years course so 3 years for the drawing and 3 years for the painting and actually we made this 6 years but but uh, until you never uh, pass uh, you can cannot say you you i am tanka painter even i don't consider i am a good tanka painter even i have 30 years experience so there's uh, no end of learning in tanka i think i until i die i still learn the right so how deep is it is i'm trying to tell you. but but yeah we make a 6 years course that's that's you must need 6 uh, years that much and then later on you you, uh, you learn by your own experience and uh, And, yeah experience and see here there are tags and this so there's no limit i mean to say to study tanka or or the good tanka there's no limit let me tell uh, about the the material we use in our school here we are following the very very old tradition like uh, natural pigment natural color as everything is natural we are trying here and uh, the colors of course those are the mineral colors uh, different parts from india as well as tibet sometimes we get stone color also so that is very important so what in a market i uh, let me tell you the between between hours and the uh, in a market so market they normally use acrylic color which is not good at all which can fake uh, in a, within a few years the natural color what is the importance of natural color is it can live for let me say few hundred uh, years if you, if you carry it then it, it it even it turns into better color like it become better and better better so the the thing is you need to be care so there are so many evidence in tibet also and, and uh, all around in the world museum a few hundred years thang- old tankas are still are very charming and very shining so this is uh, what i uh, would like to say is that the materials are very important let me say about the motivation when you paint a tanka you need a very very clear motivation all uh, the 100% dedication when you do when you paint some um, tankas it's not like you know you painting some 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 paintings it's not like that 
you are painting, uh, like let me say, you are painting a, a deity, which is somebody is going to meditation on this. Somebody is trying to transform into this. So it's very, very important that you, your dedication and your motivation should be very clear and very good. So also let me say that when you when you paint, uh, suppose I, I paint um, Chandra Z, you, you have to like uh, imagine, uh, imagine you know, you, that uh, you are painting a Chandra Z. So that is very important without any bad motivation. And you, you, got, you feel, you, you have to feel it, you know. Suppose you are painting uh, uh, ice, you have to feel the ice. Suppose you are painting a uh, water, you have to feel the water. Whatever you are painting, you have to feel softness or hardness or gentleness or whatever, whatever you are painting. So that is the most important. Uh, in a market, they just do it for money. It's like a, become like a factory. Somebody going to paint blue, somebody going to paint red, and somebody going this, this. So this is not a real thangka. It's just a, you can say product, a thangka product. It's not a genuine thangka. So that is the that is the how you have to dedicate when you paint a thangka. So so in that case, you need a lot of patience, a lot of. Uh, of course, tolerance, patience, many things you need. You need to sit for hours and hours. But once you are, when you when, once you are deep into thangka, so you never know why, whether you never feel like a long time. You know, it's, it's like a three hours going like you feel like five minutes. So that, that's why. So if you, as I told you before, there's no limit. If you if you limited your aims, then you will not enjoy. If you enjoy the thangka, enjoy the art, then there's a limitless. So you enjoy the, the thangka, whoever you paint for, they will also enjoy as if you uh, look at uh, religiously, you earn a lot of good merits. Like not only this just like neck life, neck life, this is another case. But uh, yeah, thangka is supposed to be painted with very kind-hearted and uh, motivation and dedicated and this, these things are very important. Let me say something about our school, why our school, why school, this painting school is. That is main, our main aim is to preserve the unique culture, Tibetan uh, culture, Tanka um, paintings. So not just preserve, we're trying to promote the Tanka in a uh, in a highest level we are trying our best to you know always uh, to better and better and better so why this is important for us or for the tibetan especially we we don't have no country so this is uh, like uh, we can do something for our country or our tibetans because uh, in, in the market so many now paintings and these things, all our cultures are, uh, you can say like they destroying a bit, you know. So we try to preserve the, the very root, very, very root traditions and follow the few, like thousand years old uh, roots. So we're still following this and uh, of course according to our uh, lamas, according to our Masters, about, you know, we, we always keep contacting this and how to do the better. And also, it's not that we are also trying to do develop uh, through tradition way. We are trying to promote or do the better in in our. But uh, with with the tradition, not uh, the uh, the other way. So we still try to. So as I told you before, there's no limit. So the, the aim of school is this, to promote and to preserve our culture. That's how much track delay. Now I'm in very gentle. I need to go to New York. I need to go to New York. I need to go to New York.
when I was young, then I'm very interested in painting. But I don't know, I was just learning one day tanka painting. But, you know, once I grow up, grow up, and I just feel, you know, that my talent, I just feel, okay, why I not try tanka painting? My talent is in painting, and I have to make it more connecting with Dharma, and, and also, you know, the practice also together, everything together, yeah? so mm. not, I always want from the childhood, like, uh, I just always connect with Dharma. So it's very good experience for me uh, drawing Sankas. And about our masters, they are very good, and they teach us how much they know about Sankas. And it's very, you know, I'm feeling very lucky to have this class. And I'm just keep learning more. Maybe I hope one day I will benefit other persons. I'm just only hoping because I'm not a uh, uh, how to say master. Or <laughs> I just only hope my drawing will help sentient beings and all human beings. My name is Pema. I'm from Bhutan. I'm just coming here learning Tango painting. So I like here at school very, very much. Um, now I've been going five years. So, yes. <laughs> Before I study somewhere, uh, but um, when I come and see this school, so I like this and this school very much. And uh, and our master, we have a three masters, and they all are very kind and they teach us very well. So I like here to study. Uh, I since I 2002 I start here under painting. So now it's my five years here. So very good and I like very much to study Tanga. When I was young I liked to paint, drawing, but uh, after a few years later like I get, um, get grown, then I want to, uh, I, I see the Tanga, so I come here and see the Tanga Then I like to do paint in Tanga and actually it's our traditional um, traditional tanga painting, so I like to paint. <laughs> what I learned from this uh, when I paint, uh, when I draw, when I paint this tang uh, about this uh, tanga painting is a little bit uh, different from another art like contemporary art or modern art. When uh, when paint or draw, you need a very uh, focus, concentration, and patience when you draw it. Uh, if no, then um, the result will be different. Like when you paint, uh, when you're in your lazy mode or in your angry mode, and the result will be also different. And when you paint in uh, concentration in your focus mode and the result also very different. Doing this tanka painting, uh, I believe it uh, it can accumulate many uh, good merit and from doing this, uh, studying this and learning this tanka painting, I hope what I'm doing is I can benefit many people and all my family and everything and everyone. Yeah. Oh, Pema. Hi, Lakda. Hi. When I was kids, I wanted to become a painting artist. But, uh, but finally, I didn't. I become a teacher. But always, I want to learn something about drawing, color, design, and uh, I found this Tanka school, so I start to learn Tanka. 
But after learning Tonka, I found in China Tonka become popular. But uh, most of people they don't know what is Tonka. They just buy something that uh, the drawing is really really bad, and uh, I think this is not a good. I want to learn Tonka and know more Tonka knowledge and uh, maybe spread information to the Chinese how the Tonka look like, what's the right Tonka and how hard work for the Tonka artist. So that's now my purpose to learn Tonka. When you drink Tonka, you know, you can just make it, you need to, and you need to concentrate on everything. Every side, even you are you are drawing, you are drawing an, an uh, ear or eyes, hair, everything. When you are drawing, you need to concentrate on it, and that's uh, I think that is the most important thing. Uh, when you when you drawing, uh, you need to focus on it. I need to think on everything. Why I am drawing this tanka and for what? So this is the most important thing for a believer. And uh, what we are thinking about is this uh, tanka and is drawing for someone who is sick and someone who is suffering. So someone who need to help. So we are drawing for, for them. And not, not only for someone who are sick, but when we are drawing, we wish and we are hoping, we are praying for every living being who are suffering, who are, you know, just knowing not well. So we are praying for them to come out from the uh, suffering. Uh, initially when I started, I was slightly worried and I went to the monastery to ask my Lama and I I expected an uh, answer like, oh first you must clear your motivation, do this prayer, then think about this, then start painting, after that dedicate the merit. But no, uh, my Lama said, oh, Tanka painting itself is practice. Uh, and so if still I was dissatisfied with that answer and I, I was sitting there with a, a very strange look, uh, urging the Lama to go on. And the Lama said, uh, when you're drawing Tanka, uh, you're practicing diligence, patience, and it requires uh, immense precision. Uh, all of that, uh, when accumulated, will become an immense merit. And so he said, no need to think about all the other uh, religious uh, contexts, just concentrate on the uh, drawings. It's not about self-expression really, uh, so unlike modern art, it's, uh, you have a set uh, standards and guidelines and all these measurements, the colors are more or less uh, prescribed according to the texts. Um, and I guess it's about carrying the lineage, the tradition. And, uh, well, I, I'm just a novice, I can't say much, but uh, coming from outside the Tibetan culture, it's very interesting to uh, be part of this sacred lineage. And I'm very happy to be here. <laughs>